Here it is, the long overdue Julitochromus tank update. This tank might be best described as a sacrifice of appearance for the sake of function. I really wanted to be able to view the spawning behavior of the Julitochromus marliari, if they ever do spawn, while providing the fish with a sense of security. My research has indicated that Julitochromus prefer caves with low ceilings, so after some experimentation outside of the tank, I arranged the rockwork this way to provide several such caves at a short distance from the front glass so that I would be able to view and film the caves easily. Before I put the rockwork or the substrate in, I cut and put down some egg crate to protect the glass in case the rockwork ever falls. For substrate, I decided on a mix of aragonite sand for its buffering capacity and pool filter sand, which is inexpensive and a good grain size to help prevent anaerobic pockets from building up. However, the pool filter sand contains silica dust, which is a health hazard, so I needed to rinse it thoroughly before use. It also turned out that the first heater was faulty. It ran too hot. I ended up running the tank without a heater for a while, which slowed the cycling process. Fortunately, doctors Foster and Smith willingly sent me a replacement heater. For a while, I just kept the tank cycled by adding ammonium chloride every couple of days, waiting until I had a chance to move the fish. I started by moving a few multis, along with shells of course, and the gold barbs from the temporary tank, along with a couple of hardy low-light plants, Anubius, Bartieri, Nana, and Cryptocorin Wentai. You can see that the multis have already made themselves at home. They're starting to stake out territories and dig down to the egg crate. Not exactly an aesthetically pleasing effect. Finally, it was time to add the Julitochromus marlieri. These fish have a reputation for being a bit touchy about changes in their water conditions, so I tried to acclimate them gradually. Luckily, the water in both tanks is hard and alkaline, just the way they like it, and I didn't have any problems. Once I finally released them into the aquarium, they didn't waste any time. They went straight to work, inspecting their new home and meeting the neighbors. They seemed to have taken a particular liking to this cave, as I had hoped they would. I'm still not entirely sure if I will keep the aquarium this way. I've been toying with the idea of taking out all the rock work, adding lots of shells, and making this a multi-only tank, and putting the rock work and the gelitochromis in the current multi-tank. I'll just have to see how things go. But that's part of the fun. Thanks for watching! I post videos every Friday, all related to keeping aquarium and vivarium pets. You're most welcome to leave a comment and a like, and for those of you who are waiting for an animal voiceover at the end... So where's my new tank?